There it is. Welcome to Score to Picture as part of the Composer Exchange. We got five folks that submitted cues today. Uh, it's going to be a great one. This is Footy from the Footy 23 from there the YouTube. YouTube. And Welcome to Score this, to Picture as part of the Composer Exchange. Get over here. Sorry about that. And <clears throat> we're going to kick things off with our... QTube, and we're going to just get started. Special thanks to Slack and Pybox for uh, being sponsors and allowing us to use their tools to communicate, collaborate, educate, and have a good time here learning and growing on our journey as composers. So today, the first one up is Rafael. And Rafael, you're the, you're the newest of our group here. So we're going to like, you know, rapid fire at you. I, I hope you had fun doing Oh, man. That. It was sure, a good, should good should I be afraid? <laughs> no, no, we're <laughs> we're polite and friendly, and and and, and appreciate you jumping in and, and joining us with this. Yeah. So I, I will just add on the beginning that I made it today within three hours, I think. So it's <laughs> probably not, nothing nothing amazing, but yeah. Well, the, but the whole think... thing is 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 intuition. Some people can score a whole movie, kind of like you know, think of those guys that used to do. Uh, the 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 piano to to silent muse to silent movies what a skill that is in connecting with the emotion and the yeah. intensity and all that you know so it's all about building intuition so it isn't it isn't so much you know having all the cool sounds and whatever it's really kind of it's connecting to the story Rafa so, uh, needs yeah. Rafa needs like five layers of drums and his stuff though so <laughs> yeah yeah you gotta have like, Ooh. <laughs> yeah there'll be something and in there and I, I went easy way just, you know, just to mention that I used that uh, uh, spotting sheet that was available for us and, and just go through it and set, set the points. And uh, yeah, so that was you have quite to be careful, Rafael, because if you say that too fast with your accent, it sounds like spotting shit. I did that spotting shit. <laughs> <laughs> OK, <laughs> just picking a little bit. Well, let's take a listen and uh, and then we'll give our, our feedback. See where it goes. Get ready to experience the thrill of the world's most popular sport. Chris, like we're not never seeing before. the video. Oh, yeah, that's a good thing. I got to, like, share the screen, and don't I? Like, I'm a little slow today. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's get our uh, share and get into high stereo. There we go. I'm. Oh, let's try that again. Okay. Get ready to experience the thrill of the world's most popular sport like never before. With Footy 23, you'll have the chance to play as your favorite teams and players from leagues all around the world. Oh no, I hate that when that happens. From the Premier Yeah, that's I League to La Liga. We might have to we'll take the pitch with the buffer and then best of the best. But it's not just about playing as your favorite Yeah, I hope perhaps that, you can just just hit the pause and and let's wait when it will buffer a little bit. It, it's Teams. Not buffering. With Footy 23, it you'll be able to create your own players and take them from the amateur ranks to the top of the professional game in our new Zero to Hero Story Mode. With lifelike graphics and realistic AI teammates, Footy 23 brings the excitement of football to your living room. Uh, well, just uh, after this is done, we'll play it again and see how. So lace up your boots and get ready to dominate the pitch with Footy 2023. Yeah, it had a lot of stops, a lot of breaks in it. Other, no. <laughs> let's take a little, give it a try here again and see if we can get it all the way through. Get ready to experience the thrill of the world's most popular sport like never before. With Footy 23, you'll have the chance to play as your favorite teams and players from leagues all around the world. From the Premier League to La Liga, you'll take the pitch with the best of the best. But it's not just about playing as your favorite teams. Footy 23, you'll be able to create your own players and take them from the amateur ranks to the top of the professional game in our new Zero to Hero story mode. 
with lifelike graphics and realistic AI teammates, Footy 23 brings the excitement of football to your living room. So lace up your boots and get ready to dominate the pitch with Footy 2023. Very cool, man. I, I really like the theme. The theme is really catchy. It's really, it's, it's a neat vibe. Uh, I think about somewhere in here, uh, where is it? Right about here. I think in the spotting sheet coming out of this, they had something that they wanted, they wanted it to change a little bit. So, I, so that's, that's the only thing is it, it, there was a, from this point on, there was a couple little things that that they wanted something to happen that you didn't didn't connect with but i love the theme it's a really really catchy catchy vibe for the whole thing i i go by the game you know it's it's pretty neat um what 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 say you mike uh this was very un, unlike you rafael this is uh, it's like kind of light and uh i like you know electric piano like little funky groove that was uh Kept it going. I I like that part. Um, you know, I think there were a lot of, you know, I kind of ignored the spotting sheet anyways, but that, I mean, there's some certain points that, you know, the, the, uh, um, I don't know, the story changes a bit, right? It, it, it amplifies. So um, I think, I think it was a little too, too static throughout, you know, for, for this type of thing. Right. I mean, I, I, uh, I mean, if you think about when you do your trailers and that kind of stuff, right? You you really can hit those moments and, and launch off, right? This this was a little bit um it was a nice groove, but it was, you know, I don't know if it was 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 appropriate for this. So that's all I'm thinking. Or or at least for the whole thing. You know, yeah. like, like oh, you no, said, that, that, yeah. there would have been something that would have would have, you know, that kind of bump, 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 bump. That was kind of that kind of felt to me like uh, you know, almost like the Adams family, you know, I mean, uh, so maybe, you know, but something else that, that would have changed it up. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think at some point you could, you know, brought in a bass with, you know, like a slap bass with some drums and stuff to like, boom, you know, take that groove to the next level. Right. And that, that's, so there was, that part was like missing. There wasn't that next level. Boom. So that's, that's the only thing I'm thinking, but it's a, it's a nice start though. So Especially the first the first half was the two hours and 50 minutes. And then the last half was the, <laughs> the 10 minutes that were left probably <laughs> knowing how that goes. Uh, Art, what you got? Yeah, I kind of agree with uh, what everybody's saying. I like the, uh, I like the groove a lot and I like the little riff and I think you could have built on that, but you know, this is like you did it in three hours, you know, but I think it's a good start to like really, you know, build onto it. Cause I mean, it's, it's so layered. I mean, it's only two layers, really. You had a vocal in there too, didn't you? Or was that the that sound right. effects? Yeah, yeah, it's also some kind of vocals, but it's also just a sample from. I used it, uh, uh, some drum kit, and it was one of the samples. And yes. I thought, oh, it sounds quite interesting and unique, so I will use it. And then I just cut it, chop it off the the whole sample, and just use it as a short note uh, as an accent maybe not so hearable but yeah but th there there are vocals in there indeed the um the the piano had like sort of an 8-bit sound to it which was actually pretty cool because it actually brought a video game kind of thing to it so maybe that would be a way to go you know use some more 8-bit type sounds you know although mm -hmm. you know, this is not an 8-bit kind of game but but still you know yeah. Uh, but I really, I, I like the idea. I really did. Very nice, Rafael. Thank you. You like Super Mario plays football. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scott, what you got? Oh, more, more of the same, I guess. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I, uh, the, the, the video game thing works, but not at the age of eight bit. So, you know, and I, but immediately I said, of course, this is a game. Why not use a game theme? I guess what I would suggest is more of what everybody is saying, just layering. You could, you know, the more, you know, eight bar, four bar approach to layering that you find in just about every B 
upbeat oriented tune that you're going to hear, you know? So, I mean, I think just to grow it that way, and that's probably the clock more than anything else that stops you from uh, jumping on that, I, I imagine. You know, great. Loved it. It was really fun. Thank you, guys. Very cool. Thanks for contributing. Um, so, if you, yeah, appreciate it a ton. If you get a chance, uh, Rafael, you know, take the time and kind of take some of these comments and ideas and put in a couple more hours because I think it could be a really neat little uh you know, demo piece for your for your demo reel that I, I know you're uh, kind of still working on. So, sure. Go. All right. Let's go over to our next one, which is Mighty Mike. Here we go. Let's get in here. And it's probably going to do the same thing. I, I I hope not, but let's see how it goes. It shouldn't because it's an MP4. Get ready to experience the thrill of the world's most popular sport like never before. With Footy 23, you'll have the chance to play as your favorite teams and players from leagues all around the world. From the Premier League to La Liga, you'll take the pitch with the best of the best. But it's not just about playing as your favorite teams. With Footy 23, you'll be able to create your own players and take them from the amateur ranks to the top of the professional game. In our new Zero to Hero Story Mode, with lifelike graphics and realistic AI teammates, Footy 23 brings the excitement of football to your living room. So lace up your boots and get ready to dominate the pitch with Footy 2023. Cool. Well, hey, I, I like where where I think you were trying to go with it. It didn't it didn't fit for me. It didn't it didn't fit. the The music was was interesting and good, and there were some neat ideas that I thought could have been you know applied to the story. But it it just it it didn't feel like it fit the emotion of of what they were trying to do with their with their thing. Um, you know, there were really neat ideas and the music, but it just it didn't feel like it was like it was supporting the story. Um, as it as it should and that that's just my feeling uh, of it um you know not 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 to beat on you know the, the the music is good it just didn't feel like it it fit with the story that's that's my two cents with it it happens sometimes art yeah i like the i like the sounds mike and i like the the pulsing sounds um i think you could have um maybe driven those pulsing sounds a little more because it, it, it started from the pulsing sound from the beginning, but it kind of got static after a while and your ear kind of turned it off. If you had like an accumulating pulsing sound or something, it would have driven the en energy to the end a little more, I think. Um, the theme was a little, not ominous exactly, but I, I got a feeling of darkness towards the middle and I'm not sure why exactly. Um, because it wasn't like a dark theme, but there was something maybe about the timbre or something that gave me a feeling of like almost like uh, mysterious or whatever in the middle. I don't know why, and I'd have to listen to it again. But I like the sounds. I really like the sounds. Was that Falcon that you used on that, Mike? Was that what on? Was that Falcon that you used on that? Uh, I used a, my my my. My intent was to use sounds that I've never used before for this one. It's like I just wanted because we're doing like piano and orchestral stuff so much that it's like I right. want to get completely out of that for this. So, yeah, there is there is some Falcon. There is some contact stuff. There's some, uh, you know, weird things from Spitfire Labs, you know, for like a distorted uh, uh, thing um, and then a bunch of different drums, I think. So uh, and then a Moog. There's a there's a Moog in there, the Animoog, for for a certain part. But it uh, it did you know if you, it's interesting listening to it here. It sounds a lot softer than when I when yeah, I yeah. It did sound so, soft to me too. Yeah. So I don't know I don't know what that could have been. I I you know it was more impactful here. I don't know why that uh, didn't translate. Yeah, it didn't seem to like drive towards an energy to me. Yeah, it should have it should have been like pretty. Uh, really intense yeah 
for for that kind of a that kind of a sound palette to to work, it probably also has to be compressed. So that's really blah 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 blah. You know, right out right out there. Well, it is. You know, yeah. One thing I tried too is I took. Uh, uh, it was compressed and very loud, and then when I when I was in a, and I wrote it with the with the vocal there, but or the dialogue piece, and then I do some side chain compression to drive my stuff down when the, when he's speaking. So maybe I overdid that. So I don't know, but I'll think about the ominous part though. Yeah, maybe, I'm not, was that it, like that's like like one like maybe like five measures in the middle. That were like, oh, that's kind of dark sounding, but it it was only that one section that I got that feeling. Yeah, before the stutter, maybe, maybe I don't remember. Well, maybe maybe you were like hoping that Chucky would kind of pop his head in there for a second. It was, it that. Just, no, he's he's so good at at he's done so many horror films. That's what I, <laughs> I have. I've done too many of those. Yeah. <laughs> got two more in the pipeline too. That's the worst. All right. Cool, Scott. What you got? You know, I, I I don't know enough about orchestration and stuff to talk about following the story. I just don't know the language. But what I will say, first of all, I enjoyed the groove very much. What I missed was showed up in the last three or four bars, which was um, I, I, I wanted it to be. Not using percussion, but more percussive, you know, uh, more staccato, uh, you know, some of those grooves were just uh, iterations of the same thing with a slightly different sound. I wanted to hear more staccato, more pulse, and I think that would have added a lot of uh, a lot more to the drive of the the energy of of a, of a football game, you know. That's my thought. <laughs> okay, that that makes that kind of makes sense actually to me. Rafael, what you got? Yes, I kind of have the same feeling as uh, you guys already mentioned. So, yeah, first of all, indeed, I would, uh, yeah, I I, I couldn't uh, you know feel this uh, theme in, into this uh, picture because I think it would be great for a sort of Mm, let's say cyberpunk sci-fi stuff kind of retro shooter game which uh, which is now uh, there's uh, many of them now actually uh, developers making like you, you remember from the 90s maybe games like doom or duke, duke nukem so th th they are now kind of getting back to this uh, stuff and i think that would be fit in this uh, you know uh, kind of sci-fi world i would say I would say, and if we are talking about the sports game, I would also hear, would like to hear this some um, sort of uh, groove, as Scott mentioned, that would be, uh, I think that would, would, it would be better fit for uh, any kind of sports game, to my opinion. But yeah, the the sounds you used and, and the whole uh, theme was was great. It's just kind of didn't fit to, to the picture to me. But uh, yeah, and the first part, I I agree with Art that it was a little bit uh, uh, kind of um, disturbing. But for this kind of games that I mentioned on the beginning, it would be perfect, really. But uh, at the second part, when you started to to add some uh, uh, progressions, I think, and and sort of melody, then then it started to to be this different thing. But uh, yeah, really really cool uh, theme. Thanks, Mike. All right. I just want to say before you play this, that mine is completely different from everybody else's. So you expect that, though? Maybe I don't know. Did you play with with uh, John Williams themes over it again? <laughs> Since it was on your mind, let's see what it is. Okay, and you probably listen to all of them. See, I purposely don't listen to any of these before we do this, so that I don't have a tainted opinion. Get ready to experience the thrill of the world's most popular sport like never before. With Footy 23, you'll have the chance to play as your favorite teams and players from leagues all around the world. From the Premier League to La Liga, you'll take the pitch with the best of the best. 
But it's not just about playing as your favorite teams. With Footy 23, you'll be able to create your own players and take them from the amateur ranks to the top of the professional game in our new Zero to Hero Story Mode. With lifelike graphics and realistic AI teammates, Footy 23 brings the excitement of football to your living room. So lace up your boots and get ready to dominate the pitch with Footy 2023. Oh, wicked cool, man. I really, I love what you did. You know, uh, so what I, what I was, what I felt was kind of missing. I needed like an, an octave higher on those trumpets. So yes. in the marching, in the marching band, they needed to be a little bit more piercing. Right. You know, if you would have pulled that out, I mean, God, you'd have taken, you'd have taken me home, brother. But it was really cool. I love the way you used the pause and then the whistle. That was so cool. And what a neat idea. That is you know, I, I certainly did something completely different and, you know, we all have, uh, from, from what I can tell, but that is a, that is an appropriate way to, to, uh, to, to, you know, sounds to, to make that connection. Um, the, um, did you listen to the original that the guy did? Um, it, 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 the very beginning and that's it. Yeah. He did something, I mean, he did something completely, you know, uh, kind of funky weird you know cool uh very different and uh but yeah that i mean you you pulled into a pulse of something that people can relate with right away with that so yeah i i'm surprised i didn't even think of that as as the direction but yeah that's perfect that's really really yeah. nicely done. just get those trumpets to pop a little bit more and uh there was a couple of chords you were playing with harmonies god darn it and uh they were typically not a couple of the you know the punch harmonies were not the harmonies that they would necessarily use unless it unless you could maybe it's just has to it's a voicing thing in in just getting that punch that if that has that punch with those trumpets it blow away well but, it gave me an opportunity to find a a, a, a drum a, a drum line uh library yep which one did you use because there's a couple good ones I used two. I used um, uh, from uh, Spitfire. Um, That's a good one. And it's okay. And then I used, um, what was it from? Uh, the other, um, it's the big. Uh, I, school drum line or something like that. It's like that. a high school drum. Those are the two best ones that are out there. Yeah. But, but they, they kind of have different, they have different aspects. So yeah. using them together really kind of. Right. That, that's what that's what I did. I used them together. Yeah, but you I mean stylistically you you got it. That was cool. I would have you know you, the only thing that that would have been like more traditional that you know the, the kind of there's a a space for is the the triple toms. You know like as a as a feature little spot, you know. If you or get xylophones. that or xylophones. Yeah, well, yeah, you, you tie those two little pieces in, yeah. No, yeah, you can have you can have, you had a lot of fun with it, I can tell, and 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 it really really shows. It's nice, Mike. What say you? That was cool, man. I think it was. Uh, you know, I I think Chris's point about uh, you know higher trumpets. You know, I'll always want more trombones because Range, I understand. I mean, yeah. it's it, yeah, you know, but it, the, I think the uh, soprano uh, samples. You know, I don't think they're, I don't know whether they even make a drum bugle core kind of like drum uh, uh, brass sounds or not. I've never seen them, you mm. know, because it's a whole different sound. And it it's, is. It's very um, can, confined, very condensed. It, it's kind of in between those Maynard Ferguson kinds of things and the uh, fanfare, you know, turn of the century. It's like right in the middle of that, right. uh, that sound palette. But yeah, it, it's tough to get that really sharp i didn't mean to step on your comments mike i apologize i just you know i just i don't know how to make them you know could you, you know they were pretty much in the upper register at least the first was but there's you know well, just, I, don't, it, I don't know it, it could be because i mean that's the thing is you you, you add too much and, you, and and you take away when you have you know something grab the space right they just uh and maybe it uh it needed like some you know, 
flutes to double the trumpet or something like that. Who knows, right? I was thinking about that, but then I said, you know, is this a drum corps or is it a marching band? Uh, so I'd go the drum corps route. Well, you got to realize they have 30 trumpets. <laughs> you know, it's not just like, you know, a horn section with two trumpets, two trombones. You know, it, it they've got a. They're not called trumpets, though. They're called sopranos. Yes. OK. Yeah. There's the teacher in you. I, I've been schooled. <laughs> if you're a drum corps guy, they don't call them trumpets, you know. Uh, yeah. They call them sopranos. I <laughs> should know better. No, that's OK. But they, but they're a different instrument and they have a different bore. And they sound different, you know, but yeah. I don't know if anybody makes a library of drum corps horns. That is interesting. Yeah, oh. it's just like the tubas are completely different, too. They don't use they don't they're, they're a completely different configuration. Yeah, they're contras over the shoulder. Yep. And a lot of marching bands use them, them too, rather than sousaphones. Yeah. Hmm. Awesome. How about you, Rafael? Yeah, very cool, very cool. I really like it, and yeah, I think it it matches the picture. Uh, uh, funny thing is that on the beginning I had this uh, on my mind uh, Waka Waka Shakira song from the World Cup 2010 <laughs> because of the drums. It's on the beginning, kind of the same, maybe not the same, but the you know the start of the song is also with drums. So I directly think about that uh, song. I don't know why. But yeah, really, really nicely done. Uh, a lot of changes and nice changes, nice transitions. And I especially like the moment when I think you stopped everything and there was this referee whistle. Uh, whistle. It was outstanding. Yeah. And timing was perfect. So yeah, I, lo I love it. Well, I think nicely it was, done. I think it was yeah. a serendipity, Rafael. I think it was a serendipity. It just happened, you know? And I was like, oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. But by accident, but it worked, but it worked perfectly. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Well, you, know. you, you were you were you were cro you were on the line of of uh, stealing the melody from Carnival. Like, I think it was, it was the name. It was like right there. It's like, oh, he didn't go there. Yeah, he went yeah. perfect. He's uh, he doesn't want to get copyright infringement. <laughs> it's a typical blues melody, you know. It's nothing spectacular, nothing outrageous. No, but it, it it was familiar enough without going there that it worked really well. I th I think it you know. It, that people look for that they you know it, it's a great way of making that connection so how about you scott what you got wow um i i went in in a sort of similar i i struggled with the horns i struggled with the drums um so i, I want to have a sidebar with you about that because uh i i don't have uh, a lot of a library libraries so uh i i'm i'm <laughs> you know limited to that um it was exactly exactly what the uh, director was going to be looking for uh, in my mind that's exactly that's he's you know it's got the the pump of the game um i struggled with one thing i don't know if you did uh but uh uh music in stadiums for football is different than music in stadiums for football two yeah. different two different sounds i and know i decided it, I wasn't going to worry about that. Okay. One's more round than the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> yeah, one uses their feet. You know, it's it's. Uh, I decided yeah. I was going to Americanize it. Yeah, that's what you do. I, I had I, I I kind of you know well you, you'll hear I sort of did the same thing, uh, in a way. But no, I, I fabulous, just just great. I'm I'm really glad to to see that you struggled trying to find a marching band uh, line. Uh, you know, I. I I, I I went to just try to find where the sound was, and then try to recreate it with the samples I had, which was uh, a challenge. So I appreciate your challenge. Cool. Well, welcome, Carl. Sorry if I missed uh, missed you. I, I just saw it a little bit late. Did you actually create a cue? I did not. Oh, okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss it. Um, so we've uh, we've gone through three cues already, and now we're moving on to uh, Scott's cue. So, are you ready to roll? I right. am. Here we go. Hopefully, this one won't choke. Get ready to experience the thrill of the world's most popular sport, like never before. 
With Footy 23, you'll have the chance to play as your favourite teams and players from leagues all around the world. From the Premier League to La Liga, you'll take the pitch with the best of the best. But it's not just about playing as your favourite teams. With Footy 23, you'll be able to create your own players and take them from the amateur ranks to the top of the professional game. In our new Zero to Hero Story Mode, with lifelike graphics and realistic AI teammates, Footy 23 brings the excitement of football to your living room. So lace up your boots and get ready to dominate the pitch with Footy 2023. Cool, really neat ideas, Scott. Um... I, I just, I'm going to try and catch this right in up in, 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 up until like in the way you did this whole beginning section, the best of the best. Yeah. I absolutely loved it. It was really, really interesting and fun when you made the transition over to somewhere in here. Oh yeah. It was when, with the little kid, um, that, that transition felt a little bit awkward. OK, um, and, and I, you know, I, something that would have helped me like uh, embrace the trumpets that came in. OK, yeah. and, you know, I, I can hear where you were struggling a little bit with libraries because you could play with there's certainly some some library adjustments that could could make that a little bit stronger. But that transition into this kid, that part in there, what what happens is what, the way I think about it is when I notice something that, you know, from a feeling perspective, that's when I that's when I you know kind of jumps out. So that kind of that kind of felt a little bit um, like it could like it could use some work in there. And then at the end. Um, where is it over? Like, so like something to accent that a, a little bit and then, and then, and then give it a little bit more oomph at the end. Okay. Cause it's you, nice themes. It just needs something that just kind of pushes it a little bit more over the edge at the end, yeah. because that's what they, they, they kind of want that. Um, all of a sudden something big comes in. I, I, I think, you know, yeah. at, at this part. How, how, um, did you, how did you how did you feel about the uh, the volume between the music and the um, and, and you know the uh, all of the dialogue? Was it was it was it down enough, or it should have been pulled more? Uh, I'm going to let somebody else comment on that because I don't want to take over the whole thing. So I can our... hear all the dialogue. That's the main part. Well, Mike, go ahead. Yeah, no, I could, I could hear the dialogue. I thought the the you know that that mixed part. I mean. I mean, I like the first of all, I like the whole form. That was a great form, right? And you had the, the the groove in the beginning, you know, probably because you're a bass player. So you have the like the, <laughs> the thing is, you know, Seriously. it just jumped right at you, right? And I and I kind of liked I oh I like the like the distance, like when the horns came in, they were like out there somewhere in the in the stadium. I kind of agree with Chris in that when you know, in that transition where the kid shows up, that could have been maybe more clear, right? Because it kind of flowed together but it could have been like you know the launch of the next part because then that next theme you had was like really really good and i thought it ended well i mean i thought it was, you know you brought you you just brought that theme developed it and and you know it was very kind of triumphant right you know it had that 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 uh thing so i i, I thought it was I, was I thought it was really good thank you i remembered what i felt was missing at the end towards the end bass Ah. We had a lot of warm bass sounds in the beginning of it, and then right. you and then you'd go to the transition and and you pull that back a little bit, and that's great because it gives it an opportunity to build. But I think just having some warm bass at that end is is what would what would what would work to help that uh, help that build up the, the sound, yeah. yeah. Just something underneath because you were using those boom, those real low drone, you know, booms right. and stuff like that in there right. if something happens like that in in the last part of it i think that kind of brings it all together and gives it the warmth uh, that lifts it up all yeah. right what you got yeah i liked it i i think you captured more of the european football than i did i went more americanized and your your th their theme and one one little thing that you used in there was sort of that da 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 <laughs> yeah right 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 which I guess isn't copyrighted. I don't no, think. no, and and it's um, in, in, it's in everybody's book. 
Yeah. yeah. But I I like the uh, I like the theme that you used, uh, you know, from the, the transition point after after the net on. I really like that a lot. And I thought it was very uh, typical of that kind of music that you would hear in, in the European football uh, stadium. Um, I, I agree with Chris and Mike that the transition into that section was felt a little bit busy yeah. and uncomfortable. It, you had a string line that led into it. Mm, yeah but i think the string line was a little bit early okay and i think okay. i think that would have helped to transition a little bit better because it felt like the, the string line led into it almost right. i have to listen to it again but it felt right right out to me and yeah. i think what you were using as a transition point but i think it was a little early okay fair yeah. enough that's yeah that was a tough a tough area for me yeah yeah yeah, so very nice though, Scott. Uh, you know, very nice, and I think that worked worked well with the video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mighty cool, Carl. What you got? Well, I I agree with you, Chris. Uh, there's nothing like a warm bottom. Don't <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, at the end. Uh, more bass, more bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good, Scott. Thank you very much. Yeah. Rafael. Yeah, nice work, uh, Scott. I also like it. And I, I agree with what others say, actually, about the ending. But also what I noted here, I think the beginning was a bit too heavy or how to call it, too intense to me, okay. at least. Maybe, maybe you can just, you know, uh, make it a little bit uh, down and 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 build up even more. But yeah, I like the riser you used and to this uh, football anthem. It was uh, it was really cool. So yeah, nice work, Scott. Yeah. Did Thanks. you catch that? There, did you catch that there was an organ in there? Because no, in not Europe, really. Because in Europe, I, I they're in the in the uh, in the tape. They had uh, they had the 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 song. The stadium was singing the song. And so what I, I doubled it with a, a, another chorus and I put an organ in there, which is not European at all. But uh, I was waiting. I was waiting okay. for somebody to catch me on the organ. You know, well, I, I didn't catch it. I didn't uh, catch it. Yeah, but, but yeah, that, that was really cool. Boom, boom. Yeah, no, no, it didn't do that. <laughs> I used to know the guy that had the gig for the Minnesota Twins, and <laughs> that was his thing. Every, you know, every yeah. week. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, any other comments? We move on to the next one. All right. So I was playing around with some new stuff. Here we go. Get ready to experience the thrill of the world's most popular sport like never before. With Footy 23, you'll have the chance to play as your favourite teams and players from leagues all around the world. From the Premier League to La Liga, you'll take the pitch with the best of the best. But it's not just about playing as your favourite teams. With Footy 23, You'll be able to create your own players and take them from the amateur ranks to the top of the professional game in our new Zero to Hero Story Mode. With lifelike graphics and realistic AI teammates, Footy 23 brings the excitement of football to your living room. So lace up your boots and get ready to dominate the pitch with Footy 2023. I had fun with it. Yes. Art, what do you think? Get I'm ready. Sorry. I really liked it a lot, Chris. And I and I like the um I like the fact that you use some restraint. Because there was enough in it to keep it going and 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 driving forward, but yet there wasn't so much that I couldn't understand what you were saying. And I love the I love the electric guitar. The guitar guitar was great. What was that? I just got the new damage. 
Ah. The and the, you get the rock drums with it, too. Okay. The damage, <laughs> too? What's that? Damage, too? Yeah. Well, no, there's a damage. There's the damage, the rock guitars, and then there's the uh, the uh, damage rock drums. It's okay. rock drums. So. Gotcha. It. it has a lot of those double bass things that, like, trying to program them and get them to sound right. It's right. Pain. So, but so, I thought I thought it was really well balanced as far as um, it was transparent. You could you know you could you could hear what you were trying to do. Like the keyboard would take over for a while, and then the guitar would come in, and they worked really well together. But it wasn't like overkill, you know, like you didn't get overwhelmed with sounds. Um, Actually, it was all guitar, by the way. What's that? It was all guitar. That was oh, that's really? a guitar. They call it a bloom. Because there was one section in the middle that sounded like it was like keyboard almost. Yeah, but, a, lot, a lot of guitar samples sound like keyboard samples. <laughs> right. Just, yeah. But I thought it was really well balanced and I thought it kept my interest. So um, I was interested to see what was going to happen next, but yet it kept driving forward. So I think it really was well done. Thank you, Chris. Oh. Mike. No, I, I think it was, uh, I, I don't want to say subliminal, but, it, you know, to, to Art's point, right, it was, uh, it wasn't dominant, right? You, you definitely, the, 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 the uh, voiceover and, 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 and the sound effects were front and it, and it did propel that, you know, but didn't get in the way. So I, I you know, it, it, I thought there, that was pretty effective. I, I think that's uh, my impression of it. But it wasn't, you know, it didn't really stand out as a as a standalone piece, which it doesn't have to, right? It was supporting this other thing. Cool. That's that's my job. That's you know, I hope I, I hope I'm trying to get better at it. How about you, Rafael? Yeah, I can hear you had a lot of fun with that. <laughs> and yeah, we, we we could hear also your your drummer soul. And I was wondering because you mentioned you used uh, damage. Rock, there is there is some expansion pack for the damage or what what because... they have is well they had a sale of course over the holidays um <laughs> you know one of the one of the challenges you know for me is not being a guitar player is getting good sounds and then being able to mm -hmm. emulate a guitar player well and and i was really impressed with all of the the tones and and I, I watched kind of how they made it and so forth so it you know I, I thought about it before I, I went and did it but the the guitar the their guitar um damage guitars is really really actually a pretty impressive library and then they have an accompaniment part uh which is their damage drums it's rock drums and so it's two different libraries Okay. But they go together if you're going to try and do some of these heavy metal kinds of things. And they and I mm -hmm. watched the demos and how they did that. And I'm like, yeah, trying to recreate some of those drum things. Yeah, I could do it. But oh, my God, it's just it's a lot of work. They've kind of done some of the legwork to make it a lot easier. So you can so you can really get when you're working a lot of these tools. It's about having a workflow and being able to kind of, you know, put things yeah. together quickly so so uh, so i you know broke down and got the two of them together and they, and they and they complement each other and they're you know recorded with that same mm -hmm. you know sound palette yeah and... yeah so uh, for the drum section did you program this from the single shots or or it loops kind of a combination, a combination of both okay. you know i, I mean you know, certainly I'll, I'll, I use a little loop for the, for the, for the double bass kick, you know, boom, you know, for a hit mm -hmm. um, uh, and played that for, maybe for a bar, but then I did a couple little things that were hits and yeah. a couple things that were, were a little groove. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, well, the massage, because, because if you notice, I changed tempos a couple different places in there. I sped up in the beginning mm -hmm. and then I slowed down when they were, you know, kicking the ball around the net and stuff like that. And getting a drum loop to work with that, it, I mean, it's kind of the only way to to do that right. But it was really tricky to get the right combinations and you okay. know pull stuff out yeah. and have the right accent. So it was really a it was layered combination of things. Yeah, yeah, and and it worked. I think it worked in the, in terms of uh, timing. But um, well, uh, I uh, I agree with what Art said that the mix was amazing. It was so clean and and nice to to hear. It was really good. 
but uh, the the sound of the guitar is quite heavy and i don't know to me to this picture i would like to hear something a little bit softer but yeah the the sound of these guitars are really amazing actually i was thinking on the beginning that you played it by by yourself you know so uh on on the real guitar <laughs> So that was kind of surprising that that this is a sample library, but yeah, nice work. I I really like it, and the mix is uh, is perfect. Yeah, really good work, Chris. Thank you, Carl. Chris, I thought it's uh, the. I agree with everyone else. I thought the guitar sounded really real. I mean, right from those first two chords, they went like, "Here we go. This is rock concert time," and uh, you know the way it, it, or the reverb was set for the drums and the guitar. It was really good. So I think you made a good investment in that library. Um, and it continued to sound like guitars for the first oh, half a minute or so. I just noticed it around between 30 and 40 seconds in in that area. It, it didn't sound quite like guitars anymore. And my ear was kind of going, well, what is it? It's not a guitar. So that was a little bit distracting. But uh, other than that, yeah, drums sounded great. The whole, the whole double bass feel. I could relate to that, having played with double bass drummers back in the day. It's really good, and and good production and nice mix. Thank you, Scott. Oh, ditto, 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 ditto. I mean, right off the bat, what I enjoyed about the guitar sound was the way. It had, you know, there was a space. It wasn't just a chunk of sound, then another chunk of sound for the chord. It had it had the space in between it. And I thought that really helped everything just settle down in, in, in the mix. It was really, really great. And uh, the I was going to say before I heard everyone talk about the drums, great, really, really great. I, 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 uh, yeah, the, the the drums, just the sound and 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 the, the 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 impact that it had, the kind of impact the sound had, really good choices, I guess, is what I'm getting at here. Really good choices of sounds, you know, and uh, cool, very very fun. Thank you. Yeah, again, do, doing those layers and getting it to sync with the speed up in this, into getting something that worked with the with the tempo changes. That was that was that was probably one of the bigger challenges to the whole thing. You're using log logic. No. What What are you? Logic? What are you... <laughs> no, I use Cubase. I don't. You're I in Cubase. I won't okay. rig on any DAW either. There's plenty. Yeah. Of good... I just you know I, I just I think Mike is using uh, Studio One like I, but uh, I don't think anybody else is. So. You know, just curious. Is good. Logic is good. Cubase is my favorite. But, right, you know. right, right. But, uh, somebody uses Cakewalk in one of our groups, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Very cool. Nice cool, guys. Well, this was a great session. Carl, I hope you get a chance to do a queue next time. That would be fantastic. And uh, yeah, well. But thank you for joining us. This was a great review. I'm going to wrap this up, and we can stick around and chat afterwards. So thank you again. Scored a picture on the Composer Exchange. Thank you very much to slack and pie box for allowing us to use your tools to collaborate communicate and have a good time we'll see you the next time let me stop the share and then i'll stop the next little batch everybody can win